right. So the last time we saw how we have been given equation and uh, we're supposed to find the radius and the center of the equation. Okay, so we're given such equation like this. So this time around we're going to tackle a, a question of the sort. So now let's look at a question. Okay, there's a question here that says find the radius. The question says find the radius and the coordinates coordinates of the center of the circle the circle the circle with equation with known equation with an equation R squared minus 3x plus y squared plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. You see, as I said before, this is always two quadratic equations in one. Okay, two quadratic equations in one. So if you look at it very carefully, you see we are going to solve this. That is, let's solve it. As I said, it's always two quadratic equations in one. Okay, so you see that we have one with all s squared, and all of them have coefficient a to be equals to 1. So to solve this, we say that the first one for the x will be x, okay, x minus, you see, the, the 3 over here, we divide it by 2, and we square it, okay, then after that, we have minus, we say minus, the same 3 over 2 squared. Plus here we say y plus two squared minus two. The way so we have two two divided by two, so that will be minus two squared minus twelve. Okay, and if we solve this very well, we see that we can separate all the x the x's and y squares. So here we are going to get x minus three over two squared. Okay, then we'll bring this one here, this one here. So we say y plus 2 squared. Okay, y plus 2 squared. Okay, then let's take our time. I hope everybody's looking at them and gathering the, the idea. So it's not anything difficult. So when we finish, okay, we have, we bring the two. See, we have here. We have a 12. Okay. Then we we know that 3 over 2 squared, when we this one, we bring it here. Okay, so that'll be plus 3 over 2 squared. And here we bring our 2 over 2 squared. So when we take the time and you write it nicely, you see what well, this implies that x minus 3 over 2 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 12 okay and this will be plus 9 over 4 okay plus 4 all right when we compute it very carefully we are going to get minus 3 over 2 squared plus 
y over 2 squared is equal to 73 over 4 friends. So straightforward, if we compare this equation to our general quadratic equations x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. You see, with this comparat the comparative step, we will see that our a, which is the center for the x, is equal to 3 over 2, okay? And our b will be equal to what? You know, negative 2. And our r squared is equal to 73 over 4, okay? Now, it means our center of the equation is 3 over 2 comma negative 2, okay, and r is equal to square root of 73 over what? 2. So this, so this, so there, this is the word, the center, and this is the radius. So, you see, we are able to use, you know, our um, quadratic equation approach. You see, so what we did, you see, is, you know, dividing this, by 2 and divided this by 2 and squaring that. And whatever we did, we add to both sides of the equation as well. Have you seen that? So x minus 3x, so divided by 2, all to bracket square, and minus 3 over 2, okay, we, we, we compute. You see, so that's minus, and we come here to minus of that. All right, we subtract minus, subtract minus b over 2a squared to both sides of the equation. You see, that's all here. You see, if we, if you look at it, all what we have done is we have added negative b over 2a squared to both sides of the equation. You understand? So it's not anything difficult. You see, that is the reason why I ask. The reason why I say for our C is equals to what? A squared plus B squared minus R squared. Okay, and we can use this one to calculate the center. So this is one example. I think let's see what if we can solve one more before we finish for the day. Okay, let's try and see. Okay, so now let's go down and see how we can solve similar one. Okay, I hope this is not anything difficult. Okay, so then you, first of all you have to do that negative b over b negative b over two a squared on both sides, and that will give us the solution to this question. So this whole question, okay. The whole question, the whole question, take your time and look at it. You see that it's not anything difficult, you just follow step wise and you'll be smiling. Okay, look at this question. Okay, all right. So, friends, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Okay, until we meet again. Bye. Go through it.